fuck going on, Terrace? You know what the fuck time it is. It's Friday night. It's fucking 10 p.m. 10, 15 p.m. But it's Friday night, 10 o'clock. You know what the fuck going on. It's Douglo show time, motherfucker. And we're back again this week with another fire yeah. show. Chapter what? 10. Chapter 10, season 2. Season two. Damn, we're getting up there. We were slacking there for a minute, bro, with the actual guests and shit. Well, we, we you don't always have to stick to a formula, you know. No, nah, it's, yeah. it's it's good. So, to a lot of up. shows, man. Whenever we get a lot of shows, we get a lot of pre pre game streams. We should also like go back and look like how many shows exactly we have done like throughout from from start to from start to now and see how many like hours in total that is because that's a lot of fucking friday nights that y'all pulled i remember with, when we did us. the year in review i had put all of our streams together and i had the total hours back then but obviously was, we've done a lot it, since then bro that had to have been like fucking 30 gigs worth of fucking videos i could tell you we could probably watch lord of the rings in a shorter amount of time oh for one three one, extended edition motherfuckers from from front to back, Fro said probably 17, 17 hours, right? Probably, oh, yeah, probably 1700 hours. So, big dog, but yes, yeah, Alicia said it right. It's good to see Stoney back. Welcome back all together. You guys were at the trap house last week. Today, we're, we're back in our OG in your OG set. Yeah, how's it feel to be back in fucking Ohio again? Right, oh, that's good. Oh, Ohio. Get old Ohio where there's uh, Narcan in the rest areas and yeah, for real, for it's, real. Uh, I got a picture. I'll put that's it nuts. Yeah, it's gonna be damn. Hell yeah. Well, you know, it's always good when you guys are together and we're all together like this, and we'll be all together here soon as well. But for for multiple shows that we got coming up, man, this summer is fucking packed with shit going on. But we're gonna talk about that later. We're gonna we're gonna get to our guest tonight because we got a pretty fire guest. He's been on the yes. show before. Let's put a countdown first. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna do it. Oh, I thought we okay. You can't just pop the fucking countdown and like. I mean, I, I do. I took precautions, man. I didn't want no feedback. I didn't know we were listening to it pretty fucking heavy out there, right there. But I want to do a little pandering myself. I, I went out and I found some Thago orange 
And you know what, man? I ain't never tried it before. So I figured I was just going to try it. Yeah, Where'd you get this? It's definitely Thago, bro. I'm telling you. This is definitely the real deal. Real Thago. Well, listen, listen, you can tell. You can tell it's real Thago by the blue cap. Yeah, by the blue cap. <laughs> <laughs> the iconic blue cap, you know. We do a little pandering around here, uh, if I do say so. I could myself. be better, man. Maybe I got a bad batch. Somebody stepped on this batch. Or maybe you drinking that motherfucking Fanta, dog. That poop ass Fanta. Dude, now I bought that from a I bought that from a dude wearing a fucking hatchet man shirt. I swear to God. Did he say I'm not sorry if I tricked you when you were <laughs> hey, Was it uh that movie night that we went to in Detroit where they were like, It's Fago. It's Fago. Oh yeah. <laughs> nah, that was a yeah, yeah it might have been the, yeah. Yo, those drinks were fire though, and they got us fucked no, up no, in that no, theater no. though, for real. That theater, no, she had her own version of Caribou Lou because the the only thing that that chick knew about Juggalos was Tech Nine, yeah. and she was like, "I sold a bunch of these at that Tech Nine show." And then, sure the fuck enough, we bought the shit out of them though because they were fucking good. We slammed them bitches. But yeah, the the Fago was uh, a fucking venue. Yeah, it was, that uh, was Juggalo Ohio too, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> where they were like, I don't they had the Fago flavored fucking drinks, but those bitches were pouring a Fanta and that those shit. Those bitches were. Great. Rose too. I wasn't fucking with them. I had one, and I remember. I don't even remember which one it was. But we lost more than this hat in that video, man. Are y'all ready to fucking pander with uh with with our with tonight's guest? Because with that fucking video, I can't wait to see that shit live. That song is gonna go so fucking hard live. Like I swear yeah. to God. Without further ado, welcome back to the Thuggalo Show, motherfucking Flapjack Wilson. Or Mr. Pee Pee Poo Poo Man. Yes. Mr. What? Uh, I'm new muted? No, I'm not muted. Nah, you're good. Yeah, what's going on? Right. Uh, hmm? Welcome hey. back. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Thanks for having me on. It's about time, man. Honestly, it's, it's been a long time coming since Clockside Fest. That was a good show, too. I'm man. glad it's actually fucking happening. Hell yeah, I wear, hell yeah. I wear that hoodie every goddamn day. It's <laughs> like my favorite hoodie. Yeah, you were definitely a staple for that show, in my opinion. That was a good show. Uh, yeah, it was the last uh, midlife crisis show. Shout out to Ice Trait. Yeah. Oh, man. So what's going on, man? How's your Friday so far? <laughs> Pretty good, man. I had a day off, went and did laundry. You know, cool shit. <laughs> Yeah, all thing. I'm drinking a I'm drinking a Fago Diet Pepsi as well. So yeah, man, I, <laughs> the fucking flavors they're coming out with are crazy. I got moon mist. It's crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. They're it's like they're just fucking coming out with any old fucking thing now. Speaking of uh, speaking of Fagos, have you tried the new Dreaming Fagos there, Five Jack? Uh, I have tried it. It's very good. Um, I bet like I don't really drink as much as as I used to. I mean, I never really drank, but uh, I bet that shit would go good with some like uh some vanilla vodka or some shit. Ooh, add a little orange juice to it. That's a that's the gathering drink right there, bro. That fuck sounds yeah, good dude. as fuck. Yeah. That's to be fair, when you uh start feeling the color. In the lining of your stomach, you probably should stop a little bit. That, it's extremely <laughs> sweet. It, it's just like, you know, I like to, when I had it the other day, I like to think it was like the firework. Because the, the firework Fago was good as fuck, but it's extremely sweet. If you were drinking that shit, was it last year or was it the year before? Yeah, last year it was real fucking it was people were place. drinking it out in the fucking, in the sun. Where like, them bitches were hot as fuck. And I, I was like, oh. Ooh. But we're, we're not here to talk about firework fagos. And I mean, we can. I mean, it's chug shit. <laughs> it's it's chug shit. You yeah. know what's not bad? Arctic Sun Fago. I know everyone likes to say they hate. Everybody it, talks shit about it's Arctic so good, Sun. Dude. Top it's fucking good. tier, dog. I don't give dude. a fuck who you are. Top tier. It is good. Just like sixty forty. Sixty forty is like my number. Four Fago of all time. Oh yeah, my favorite's uh, cream soda. Right, 
Cream soda mixed as well, though. It really does. It mixed with uh, fucking anything. Have you guys, oh, yeah. as a true Detroiter, have you guys been told what a lot of people think the rock and rye flavor is? Isn't it like, don't people say it's cream soda and red pop? And red pop mix. And if you think about it, the next time you drink that shit, you're going to be like, motherfucker. <laughs> Right, it's so goddamn good. They even make ice cream of that shit around here. Really, cream sickle is supposed to be. Didn't somebody say? What, didn't somebody say it was just like fucking orange and something else too? And the and the cream and the cream soda, pretty much. It's yeah, cream soda, and orange cream sickle. Yeah, that shit slap. Yeah, it was bad when I tried it. I only got to fucking try a sip of it. I didn't get a whole one of myself. But enough Fago talk. Yeah, enough Fago talk, bro. Yeah. Ooh, sorry. I know I missed that video shoot probably, probably what, like a fucking couple hours? Yeah, about like an hour. Damn. Uh, I could have been in a music video. <laughs> oh. That was a fun video, man. My fucking, um, my shoes, my Cortez, that I finally got a pair, I got ruined. I don't know why I wore them to the video, but... I'm going to buy another pair when I get paid. <laughs> right. And, uh, yeah, man. My shit still smells like Fago even after washing it. So, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> so, was uh, Teether the one that shot that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was shot by Teether. Yeah, because I know he was still there by the time I got there, too, and shit. Shout out, Teether, man. I fucking... You work so I, he's so crisp. All of his fucking videos, man. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, fucking obviously, there's a big, uh, there's a big subject to that video, even though it was uh, a lighthearted music video and everything like that and all that. But there's a yeah, kind of a subject to it, ain't there? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to put? What do you want to talk about? No. All right. Right. <laughs> we're not gonna put nobody on a hot seat. No, nah, no, nah, we ain't got n- name no names or anything like that. Oh, no, man. Obviously, you felt some sort of what way to you know make the song and want to you know what I mean voice your opinion or somewhat <laughs> kind of you know satire it in a way. Oh yeah, it was it was a uh, legit man. Like um, the idea from the song came me and uh, was when we were going to the three headed monster tour and. We're listening to some to some music, and I looked at Bill, and I was like, "Dude, one day I want to put out a whole album, like just doing nothing but <coughs> pandering to juggalos." And he was like, "Man, I don't know if that'd go over." And I was like, "Yeah, me either." And then, like about a month and a half ago, I'm sitting there with my wife, and I'm like, "You know what? I'm just gonna make a song that just totally panders to juggalos right on the nose." And then she was like, "Go for it!" And then. That was legit. It. <laughs> I, uh, I wish there was a cool story to it, and like I was taking shots at somebody, but legit. If anybody takes offense to the song, then that's that's your fault, bro, for being the guy who gets offended by that. <laughs> that's that's yeah. funny because we we were backstage talking about this exact same thing. It was exactly what we had said too. Like if you take offense to a fucking song about like this, then. There might be a problem there. Maybe you, there. maybe you are pandering and you maybe feel a little way about it. Dude. Think about that yeah, a little bit, yeah. a little bit much, man. Mm-hmm. I like it because I think, I think the idea of a, a juggalo pandering album, especially if motherfuckers know you and know like you're in the community, I don't think, mm-hmm. I don't think it would be as bad as as maybe somebody would think. I think motherfuckers would eat that up, especially in the state of the community right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, because. Everybody likes to poke fun at motherfuckers and poke fun at people, and I think poking fun at ourselves is probably what we need right right now. Yeah, like legit, dude. Um, fucking, I feel like juggalos, not even just juggalos in general, but like the under juggalo underground rap scene. Everybody takes themselves way too seriously, man. It's like, come on, dude. <laughs> I mean, you, that's that's fine and all, but like, yeah, there's gotta be like. There's the look at the clowns for example. The clowns are they have their serious shit, and then they also have the clowning shit. You yeah, know, where they're exactly. just absolutely fucking goofy on the tracks, and that shit is absolutely the best best of mm-hmm. it. Exactly. I think it's same could even be said about Clark work too, man. Like everybody knows their funny shit, but I mean they got a fucking life alert. You know what I mean? They got Beer Jerker, beautiful song. song. 
I mean, fuck, I bring well, Sweet Tears might be one of the best songs ever written, in my opinion. Or I could just be really lonely. No and sleep, just, no and just fuck is, it. <laughs> no sleep is really good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really good. Yes. Um, even your single with Azatone, that Super 8 shit is fucking fire as fuck. Yes, yes. 100%. Uh, I will say their, their current remake or they're like their remix of the cemetery <laughs> really really fired this fuck too we're gonna bring that up later and talk about that as well i got that <laughs> loaded ready to go because that shit i was listening to that the other day or today Ooh. this morning and it fucking blew my mind mm-hmm. yeah before we get into that uh flap i can't help but to notice your beanie says toledo as fuck that's right man. You know you toledo? toledo as fuck huh are you like, you know who else is Toledo as fuck? Who? That over there. Yeah. Are you from Toledo? Uh, no, I'm from Port Clinton, but I hung out in okay. Toledo all the fucking time. I spent 17 fucking years on the east side of Toledo in the same fucking house, and I can't stand fucking Toledo, dog. Oh, I me either. I hate going there. Yeah. I hate I'm going, going back. to Toledo, bro. I hate going so, back you know, there. Somebody spent a lot of time in Look, Toledo. They're like, Look, fuck. <laughs> when he comes up to swoop me up to go to like events and we shit, gotta go and through it. We, gotta we go through, through it, and to. I'm like, and I'm like, bro, wow, I didn't we stop one time and I took you through the east side and I showed you where I was. Fucking yeah, we from. went, we went by. Uh, he wanted to show me the nuclear plant factory that's over there. The fucking guys, I, I ain't never seen one up close and personal and shit. We yeah, went through there too. Yep, and then we went through the gas over in the east side of Toledo and fucking and that smell in the air, you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it brings me back, <laughs> gives me fucking smog type beats. But uh, yeah, fuck Toledo, man. I can't stand that fucking place. Oh yeah. There was a there was a time where we were driving. I think it was from like North Carolina or some shit, and we were hungry as fuck when we got through like almost to Toledo, and he was like, "Should we stop?" And I was like, we ain't stopping until we don't eat, dog. Uh, <laughs> I was like, we will starve for a little bit longer. He was so convincing, too. He's like, man, there's some good food here. There's some good food here. We could do this. I'm like, well, do you want to do it? And he's like, nah, it's we ain't stopping it. here. Fuck that. Stop it, Toledo. Hey, Pizza okay. Cat's pretty good, that. though, man. <laughs> Pizza Cat in Toledo, that place is good as fuck. Pizza Cat is pretty fire. Uh, the Cock and yeah. Bull in downtown is pretty fire. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple places, man. Uh, fucking, uh, uh, what am I spacing on? The fucking Tony Paco's is gas. Oh, no, Tony Paco's. I love Tony Paco's. Yeah. Tony <laughs> Paco's is gas. about the best thing in Toledo, except for maybe the fentanyl, you know. But you got to have the fentanyl, fellas. <laughs> they yeah. sprinkle it in on oh. the fucking on the, uh, Tony Paco's, and that's how they keep it coming back. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, back back to the pandering. I think that uh, a little poking fun at at us in the community. I think that's pretty fucking. I think that's good. I think it gets us moving again, and uh, maybe not so salty. <laughs> this was in Ohio. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hell yeah! Is that in a rest stop, dude? Yeah, this is in a rest area that I stopped in not too far, like last weekend, bro. And it was like. Uh... Yeah, this is for emergency use on site. Scan the QR code, get your free uh fucking I don't know how to pronounce the fucking actual but yeah, your fucking you freaking out there? Yeah. And then uh, it will get delivered to you. So you just scan like cause they don't want you taking the Narcan from the rest area for no fucking reason. So they're like, Hey, we'll so, get free what? Narcan. So what if you're overdosing and, <laughs> and you can't uh, scan? <laughs> yeah, and you can't <laughs> scan it and you can't uh, even uh, get uh, it. Oh, Hopefully they re, you know, what I mean, like hopefully they restock this box, bro. You know, what I mean, like there's actual Narcan in the box, but they don't want you to take it. They want it to deliver. Yeah, they don't want you taking it because if somebody's ODing in the fucking rest area, they want to be able to use it. So they're like, hey, scan this if you want your own to go Narcan. Like <laughs> he's wearing around his neck for fucking clock side fest. Yeah, God, I love Ohio. Yeah, Will Gates. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but the Tuggalos don't die. That's right, really. Because <laughs> we test our shit if we allegedly do it. So I can't wait to hear this fucking song live, bro. I think that song is gonna. I think it should go right behind. Uh, she showed her pussy for a hot pocket. 
<laughs> yeah, and then you fucking, shit. We listen to the hot right here. Dog. I'm uh I'm I'm performing it tomorrow at that uh 420 show in Columbus. I'm black at the head. smoke throwing. Yeah, you are. Good transition. Yeah, it oh, is. Yeah. We're about to pull that up. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Where are you hey. speaking Go ahead. I'm about to do this. No, that's the wrong 420. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. 420. <laughs> <laughs> But we're gonna be at that show tomorrow, obviously. Oh yeah. Uh, clock. Hey, the homies, Clockwork and uh, Apollo are gonna be there. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, not the shit on your show. show at all. No, no, no. No, oh, no, it's all good, dude. <laughs> if we could be in two places at once, I'm sure we would be. It's gonna be. So, how would you get into the whole rapping thing, bro? Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm old. I'm like 39. So I started rapping um like as a goof with my homie. Like we were doing horrorcore shit in like middle school. But then um I don't know. I just started rapping, rapping like probably after I graduated high school. <clears throat> I did like uh well I I know you guys know like Jedi Mind Tricks and Cage and all that shit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was pretty much like like uh, Jedi Mind Tricks and Cage had a fucking baby with Slug, like lame ass emo fucking shit. And then I quit because I went to college, and then uh, I don't know, just randomly started doing dick joke music as Flapjack, and then uh, from there on we continued. <laughs> so was the Juggalo scene just something you always were? You knew you were gonna be a part of, or oh the well. So, like, um, I've been listening to ICP since, like, probably I first heard of them. I heard Dead Body Man, and I didn't really get it because I was, like, fucking, like, 10, 11 years old. And I was just like, oh, that sounds spooky. And then when I got a little older, I finally heard Riddle Box, and then that got me. And then Ringmaster, not Ringmaster, fucking uh, Great Malenko fucking hooked me, dude. So I've been listening since fucking Riddlebox Malenko. Like, um, ICP is like one of the main reasons I rap because I don't know that shit just it just made me want to. Right. And like the the whole like like I've always been into like comedy and making people laugh. So that the horror shit with the comedy is what fucking got me. And I always wanted to incorporate that in my music and i never really got into the juggalo scene when i was younger because toledo didn't really have much of a juggalo scene when i was younger um it was more like tough guys shoot shoot them up shit you know what i'm saying you know from the east side shout out to the homie six digit and all them i love those guys but they were a totally different kind of music than what i was doing even then like i was kind of like horror core like lyrical wordy lame battle rap shit so even that what didn't fit there so like i don't know that's why i just quit and then like when i met kyle um i'd, I'd kind of got into the juggalo scene a little bit um doing i performed at a ouija max show because usually i'm rambling i'm high as fuck i apologize but hey, um funny bro usually usually juggalos didn't fuck with my music and i the reason i say that is because I based it off of my reactions in Toledo, which they didn't fuck with me that much anyway, regardless of Juggalo or not. So, but when I got in front of a Juggalo crowd, they were fucking with me. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it another chance. And then that's how I ran into Kyle. And then Kyle convinced me to fucking keep doing this music shit. So here I am in the Juggalo scene now. And I'm fucking loving life, dude. It, it's yeah. funny that you say like Toledo wasn't fucking with you because like, I remember listening to a little bit of the of the local fucking music in Toledo, and it it w really wasn't Juggalo at all. I mean, there was like no hint of fucking Juggalos anywhere. Realistically, my come up <clears throat> was probably the same. Like I knew five ninjas in Toledo, like realistically, who listened to ICP and like everybody everybody along with it at the time. But other than that, that was. That was fucking, that was it. I discovered this shit through a family member. And it was, it's funny because a lot of our guests say Riddle Box is when they first heard the clowns too. And I, mm -hmm. I feel like that's the one who, 
or that's the one that really reached out to everybody and like yeah. grabbed the attention. That was the first album. I that was my first too. A little something something was the first song that I I remember at eight years old, being like, "What the fuck is a netting?" And, <laughs> right. And just fucking with it ever since then. Didn't know what it was, but I like you said, I was fucking with it. Something was speaking to you. <laughs> yeah, and it turns out, you know, that that something is something that will live in all of us for fucking until we goddamn die. Say said Toledo different. Toledo is very different. <laughs> that it is. I almost got it. It didn't hey, work out. Got the hemos out. <laughs> yep. See, I still use bongs like a sucker. Yeah, I got mine up here too. <laughs> they were running 420 specials all day today, so I was like, all right, well, let me get some, some shatter. Oh, hell yeah, dude. It won't let me pull up the flyer, fool. I sent it to you, though. I sent it in there. The 420 smoke out cookout. All day, 420. Uh, J Horns? Yep, J Horns uh, Entertainment Studios. Free food and jokes up at this shop. Oh, that's gonna be dope. Yeah. Man, I wish I wasn't yeah. fucking three hours from Columbus. This is where all of the fucking shows are going down lately. It's <laughs> in Ohio. Yeah. It's not even Detroit no more. It's all in fucking Ohio. So everybody get your asses to fucking Columbus tomorrow. We do we have a lot of fucking shows in our in this fucking area now. And I love it. It is great. And then right, right when I fucking move out of Columbus, it fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's like, so uh, yeah, so as that flyer said, man, that's at Jay Horn's fucking uh, studios, man. Uh, when's the first time you met him and shit? How long? Jay Horn? Yeah. Honestly, the first time I I I think I met him. Um, fuck, I. At uh, Juggle Ohio, the first one. Yeah, okay. Like, um, that's when I first started like actually meeting people. Usually, I just I would come out to shows every now and then. But yeah, I, I think I met him and two both at Juggle Ohio. Right. Where was the first Juggle Ohio? What was the venue again? Ah, uh, Scully's. Scully's. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This so, was hack, dude. Right. Oh, my goodness. I can't remember what's the what one is right uh right around the corner from Jay's too. That's where we had Clockside Fest at. Oh, I like that place. That place yeah. is fucking. I heard nice. they fucking uh, redid the shit or something like that too, didn't they? Uh, they're. I think they got bought out. I don't know. Yeah, oh, like shit. it's not like a venue no more or some shit like that. Yeah. Oh, that's whack. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, big room <laughs> bar. That's big room is. bar. Yep. Charlie got it. So, do you plan on dropping any uh, any like albums or anything coming out here soon? You got any projects that you're working on? Uh, yeah. So, like, I'm Please a big. Please tell me we're getting that Panda album, dog. Please tell me you're doing it. I don't know if you're gonna get the whole Panda album, but you're gonna get songs that are similar to that Hell in yeah. a way. Um, so like, I'm big on like wrestling and shit. Oh yeah. And, like the the dual personality weird shit. Because I don't know, I'm 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 bit into a bit of the over over dramatics and theater shit. So I'm like <clears throat> treating my next album almost like it's two people. I'm doing like a wrestling thing. It's like the Mexican Nightmare is gonna be. It's gonna be a full album, but it's gonna be cut in half. It's gonna be like the first album is the Mexican Nightmare EP, and the second one is going to be uh uh the Latino Heartthrob. Which is gonna be like more like comedy, like shit, and I might even be singing. I'm gonna do a fucking Selena cover. It's gonna be dope. <laughs> a Selena cover? Oh yeah, shit! I'm gonna, um, I'll give away the secret. I don't care. But that fucking bitty bitty bomb bomb song. I'm gonna oh do, shit! Uh, call, it, uh, call it bitties on my ding dong, but like bitties on my ding dong. Because oh, you know shit. I'm a child, and that's funny to me. So. <laughs> 
Shout out Selena, the goat. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, Yolanda, you bitch. Yeah, you piece of shit. Fuck people want to. People want to fucking. People want to fucking uh, get her side of the story. You shut fuck up. Fuck that bitch. You, you killed away. a treasure that day. They made us watch that shit in school back in the day. Oh, dude, I know. Remember I do remember, remember watching that. Anything for Salinas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I think I'm gonna watch yeah. Selena later now because it's been Fuck yeah, dude. Speaking of wrestling uh, in, in Columbus, Ohio, Bitty, Bitty, Newport Music Hall, La Luna Crew, <laughs> are you planning on hitting that up? Um, I want to go. I think my homie uh got a ticket, um, has an extra like extra tickets for me and the wife to go, right? Um, I might just go hang out with them because I haven't seen them in a while, they live in Indianapolis. Shout out okay. to Turdy and Rar if they're watching. Uh, but yeah, uh, I want to go definitely, but it depends. I got a lot of shit going on that weekend. Like, right, yeah. I got a show the next night in Cleveland called Half a Ween. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm even going to make the show because <laughs> I work until like 5, 5.30. Yeah, 5.30. And it's two hours to Cleveland from where I work, and I go on at seven thirty. So it's like you'd be battling traffic. And going yeah, and then I got to work the next day too, so I might just have to oh, drop the show. Yeah. I don't want to, but I might just have to. But also that weekend is my brother's birthday and my wife's birthday, so I got a lot of shit going on. <laughs> right. <laughs> when was that? That was lunacy. Lunacy, yeah, you got that promo video. Yeah, May third. No, yeah, they. I don't know when they dropped it, but I seen the the promo video. That yeah, he said, he said, he said, be honest with you. He said what? But <laughs> what? But yeah, the brothers of kid or uh, brothers of yeah. construction. Yeah, fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What happened to uh, Bubba Ray? Where'd he go? All right. He's not on the bill no more. Where the fuck's he uh, Oh, he didn't he sign a new WWE contract? Oh shit. So he's like, yep, oh, I gotta make that money. Yeah, right. he's like, fuck you guys, I'm getting WWE was. money. But yeah, it, I, like, I, I mean, I watched wrestling back in the fucking uh, no, he, but, this era, yeah, with fucking. Bubba Ray and shit. That's, yeah, exactly. The era. attitude era and shit. Like, you know, I mean, I did watch wrestling back then and I, you know, it wasn't something I kept up with. But then, like, the, I, uh, I think the first time I seen it live, JCW, yeah. for Violent J's birthday. And then uh, we watched some footage that our homie Jay Herm got for us at uh, Juggalo Weekend this year. And like honestly, watching some of that JCW matches made me really want to fucking kind of get back into it a little bit. And then this fucking show being literally in Columbus, fucking not even thirty minutes away, it's like God damn it, you know what I mean? Like I ain't got no excuse not to go. Right. <laughs> yeah. but, I should, like even if fucking you know what I mean rest yeah. Right, fro. Right, I was just gonna Wrestling say. Yeah. Cool again. You damn everything. right it is, bro. From everything <laughs> that I've been seeing going on in wrestling, you know, with them go heading to fucking Netflix, that they're going back to the way that the, the Attitude Era is, and if that's the case, then I'll probably end up fucking watching. Oh yeah, game. dude, they'll probably yes, be playing again and shit. That that was <laughs> dope. The storylines were good. Got me. That's got me keeping up with Raw game. Like recently, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I'm gonna have to check it out again. It's been a while. It's been a couple years. I think the last time I like really was watching the shit. Fuck, dude. TNA was still a thing. Oh yeah, it's oh, back wow. now. It's actually, oh, well, it's been, it's always been there, but it's like it's it's called TNA again. It, are they still doing the the fucking the uh, six sided ring or whatever it was? Or I think they brought it square? back, yeah. Because that was the fire shit. Was when they had the six sided ring or whatever. That was dope. It was pretty. Because yeah, they'd be flying off of every fucking corner and shit. Right. Yeah, and they didn't give a fuck back then too. They were still trying to get that contract or whatever with uh, fucking Perk Angle. You remember the Perk yeah, Angle shit? Perk Angle, motherfucking Perk Angle. 
Have you seen that boy's TikToks, man? That boy be having the fucking thousand yard stare if you look into his soul. He's got that. What's that CTE shit? Yeah, he, he, yeah, from taking too many headshots. <laughs> That dude would land on his head and shit. Like, he right, was, like, like, right. Kurt Angle was a beast, even though he used to fucking eat. Dude, all those high, day. high flying wrestlers, man. Like, I mean, obviously, my, uh, like, the ones. Jeff Hardy's I, normal? Yeah. Hardy's Hardy's normal? Normal? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, though, they all take that risk. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then, like, they start out as Jeff Hardy and then they end up like mankind. <laughs> mankind is a goat. Yeah, no, nah, he's still my favorite wrestler of all time. All, all, both of his are. Well, didn't he have three uh, egos? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mankind. Yeah. Uh, dude Love. Dude, dude Love. Love. Cactus dude Love is probably one of the best. Cactus Jack. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cactus Sack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like right now, I'm going through the whole attitude era on Peacock. All right. And, uh, it's on Peacock? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I might have to start. start you can find time. you can find like all the episodes of Raw and shit. Like that's when they archived all their stuff because they shut it on the Peacocks. Mm-hmm. And so like you go in there and, and like you can watch like whatever up to the pay per view and then just like search the pay per view and then find the pay per view. Yeah, right. No, yeah. Like, that's what I'm doing right now, bro. I if I were to go, so my whole family from everywhere up until about me. My grandpa and my my great grandma and like all of them guys were diehard old school wrestling fans. Would order the pay per views and tape them shits and have blank tapes. I remember moving over when my grandma passed. They had thirteen boxes of mm-hmm. fucking pay per views <laughs> all the way back from like fucking nineteen seventy nine and shit. Dude. Right, stacked up inside of there and like dude. the good ones. When uh when my mom uh when we moved her out of her like her old house and we had to go through all of her shit, my wife found all my old wrestling tapes in her garage and she was like, Why does this one say not WrestleMania? I was like, Because it's porn. <laughs> Just so I know that it's not WrestleMania. So you pop that on in the middle of uh, family time. Dude, like, Dude, I actually left I left it one time. Like I actually got caught um because I used to tape uh, raw for my dad, and then I taped it one time, and I fucking took the tape out, and I was watching a uh, fucking porn, you know, yeah. beating my fucking meat like sixteen years old, going to sleep. Well, I fucking forgot to swap out the tape, so when my dad grabbed the tape, thinking it was Monday Night Raw, he fucking <laughs> put it Damn. on, and it was fucking. It was raw. He was like, it was raw, all right? Yeah, no, it was right. raw. That motherfucker. He was. But the, the thing is, when he gave me back the tape, because he gave me back the tape, he had watched. He had back. watched a good portion of it, so I don't want to. Yeah, like one. Well, we got him one, and it was like, oh well, we got to take it back. He's like, his Damn. kid's got good taste. <laughs> Damn. Dude. And the fucked up part is, you know, when he gave it back to you, that part where he stopped, if you think about it. That yeah. Part, yeah. Yeah. That's where he fucking got his shit. Yeah, he was like, all right, all right, this is it. Like when your homie texts you right when you nut, and it's like, no. It's like, am I gay now? What? That's one, of the, one of the few times Kyle ever texts me back is like right when I'm nutting. Like, God damn it. Yeah, he yeah. has a knack for that, though. <laughs> He like knows, bro. He's got like a fucking little. Story I don't know, shit. but for whatever reason, that story obviously nothing to do with wrestling reminds me of when I uh, first found out that my aunt was gay. That was when I uh, found her box full of fucking uh, playboys. Tapes? Yeah, playboys and shit. Uh, why does that remind you of it, of your aunt being gay? Yeah, <laughs> he, was, he, was talking about that. he was talking about going through the shit. And then <laughs> my baby. He's like, why does that remind you? It was, a and, uh, it was all in a box hidden. And then I found it. And I was like, this ain't wrestling tapes. <laughs> hey, what is this? Happened? Oh, they're wrestling, all right. Ooh. Yeah, they are wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, how do you feel about I want to ask you a couple of questions. How do you feel about Cody Rhodes holding a belt? Bro, I love it. I've been a Cody Rhodes mark since, like, when he first fucking came out. Because I remember 
me and my friends, even though I, I, I liked him, I used to call him default, like creator wrestler. Cause that's what he kind of looked like when he first came out. So, but yeah, man, I'm fucking super geeked and I hope they don't drop the ball with him. Well, Gold uh, Dust was like a big ass part of my childhood. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So his brother was fucking like an idol. And then you have dad, which is like a fucking legend. Mm hmm. Fucking legend. Dusty. Yeah. So, like, that's really cool that he finally is getting his. Yeah. And uh, I will say, like, R Truth getting a WrestleMania moment. And now that they unleash those badass fucking belts for him and Miz. Oh, yeah. Tag team wrestling. Dude, so what do you think about, what do you think about like Triple H having control of WWE right now? Dude, he has been lights out fucking, uh, the fucking, his booking and everything. It's been like the, like finally letting Cody win, I think Mm -hmm. with the two, the two years, like. Having him lose last year, I know we were all fucking pissed off about it, but the payoff this year, seeing him finally fucking win, especially like overbooking it at the end, like that Cody verse fucking shit. Like, just I think him kind of just letting, like, still, it, it seems like he's still got his hands in it, but is letting them be more creative with it. Not like totally like fucking old Tony Khan where he just lets them do whatever they want and you end up with Chris Jericho. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like he fucking, I just love it. I love the fucking everything about wrestling right now. I feel fucking dumb saying that as an adult. But I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm like, like oh, the way these guys are pretending to beat each other up in their underwear is just so amazing. Yeah, but if you look past that, like, there's a lot of shit that goes into it, and that's really what we have as far as like live entertainment anymore. Mm-hmm. It's just shit. <laughs> It's a- Bro, it's, it, it legit really is like I don't know like I I try watching I try watching AEW and TNA and shit like that but I just can't like their stories fucking suck dude like wasn't AEW like the ones coming up where all the WWE wrestlers were going to for yeah they they started off as like a actual alternative to WWE right they, they were went to war with them right strong. but yeah now they're just like buying up everybody and it's just not I don't enjoy it I don't watch it well, I don't, I'm not a big fan of AEW that's no. a- I, don't I tell did, don't tell the guys on the message boards, am I right? <laughs> I did read somewhere or or some fucking I got a TikTok or some shit that said that Triple H is actually with when he took control that he wanted to sway away from the entertainment uh industry of the whole wrestling era like it used to be back in the fucking yeah. back in the day. Which is a brilliant move instead of pandering to the baby the young audience mm-hmm. which was good don't get me wrong because they made their bag that way but mm-hmm. i mean back when i remember back when i used to watch there was blood everywhere you got know, two things blood and, and, hepatitis. and the wrestling you bring back cussing and sex back to wrestling and it's gonna be yeah i agree I, because there's nothing like when they called a old girl a bitch on live tv or when the rock went off on fucking what's her name uh, yeah with Stephanie, Stephanie, oh, Stephanie. shut yeah, up, that, bitch. That was one of the best parts <laughs> in, uh, of that era. So, if you go back and watch like a 1998, like, uh, like, uh, so like China starts slapping the fuck yeah. out, of, uh, out of Stone Cold, oh. and he like takes a couple times, and then like he get he get fucking oh, stunned. Yeah, 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 and everyone was like, "Holy fuck, dude!" Like this bitch just got like stunned. Yeah. But, yeah, they, they let China go toe to toe with the men. I think they. That's because China had a bigger dick than all of us put together, guys. China was. Well, they, should, they, should, they should let fucking uh, Nia Jax wrestle the men because Western she botches piece, so much. Like I think the men can handle her botches better than the women. Damn. <laughs> there, who's that? That one female that just gave up the title that everybody's going bananas about. Oh, right? Rhea Ripley. Yeah, yeah but she's a good wrestler in my opinion. I don't know. I mean, people can say what they want. But I think she's Everybody good. loves her. Like, my oh, yeah, baby, I like Rhea. My, my wife she, goes yeah, bananas dude. over her. She's I don't think she's pretty fucking good. good. I haven't watched it lately, so I have no... It's wild, right, to see, it's wild to see Dominic Mysterio in the role that he's playing, but like he creates a lot of heat, so it's... it's it dude, is, is, dude. 
Yeah, he's everyone asshole, expected isn't he? him to be something different, and he's not. And it pisses everybody. Oh yeah, he pisses everybody off. Fucking dirty Dom with the fucking when he was like talking about being in prison and he was in like county lockup for like five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, when I was in the pen, I used to see some things like, uh, <laughs> like get out of here, dude. I remember uh, my most like one of my most memorable fucking matches from back in that day is when uh, Undertaker. Fucking drag Kane outside of the fucking arena and like fucking was that the his ass that? in the creek and shit and I can't remember what it was but it was like you know fucking I don't know if it was a pay- I think it was pay per view event probably yeah but yeah dude, that shit was crazy you know I mean <laughs> watching them fucking leave the arena and shit and like it was yeah. entertaining as fuck man I don't care because <laughs> I don't care. I used to be the biggest wrestling mark too. Like I used to have all of the fucking games, all all the SmackDown versus Raw, and then uh, what was the other ones? Fucking, um, I just had it downloaded on my fucking computer not that long ago. I had SmackDown versus Raw all the way up until like fucking. I think the one that I put the most hours in was Warzone. I didn't. Oh, the fucking old uh, PlayStation one or whatever. <laughs> The one yeah. I had the most hours in was WCW versus uh, fucking uh, Nitro. Uh, it was so. one of them ones on the 64. Yeah, I remember what we were talking about because you had both of the. Yeah, you were on that motherfucker. Yeah, you and WWF and shit. That yeah. was the one that I had the like most time on because I had a 64 forever. Yeah, that shit was fun as fuck. Yeah, I like, I mean, modern wrestling games look good, but they're not, like, they're a little too technical, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. They're not as fun as they used to be. I've seen a lot of the, like, the gameplay of a lot of new ones, and it looks like you could do a lot more shit, and it looks fun as fuck, but it's also, yeah, kind of like you said. I also have problems with like UFC and shit like that. I get my ass whooped in them games, but I'll beat anybody's ass in Fight Night Round Three. I'll put that on my fucking mama right now. <laughs> I'll play that shit all day. Fight Night was my shit back in the day. All was, right, let's move on. That's a lot of wrestling talk. We actually yeah, I know. Right? I'm bad. I I really like wrestling. Oh uh, no, it's good. <laughs> we uh, we gotta talk. We need to do more wrestling talk, honestly, on this show. Just yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, a little bit. I'm gonna watch Raw tonight. I think yeah. I'm gonna put that shit on, and uh, like Tony said, I'm gonna log into my Peacock, and I think I'm gonna go to sleep watching that shit tonight. Right. Holy shit. Charlie so, said uh, Dave Mira freestyle BMX. That game was the goat too. Not gonna right. fucking lie. No, nah, dude. That yeah. Whoa. I can still fucking uh, what song was it? They had they had fucking. Uh, Sublime in that bitch, bro. For the soundtrack of that game. That fucking, uh, God damn it. What's the title of the song? That game was also competing soundtrack wise with the Tony Hawk games at the time. And if you remember, the Tony Hawk games at the time had the best fucking soundtrack Dude. in like any fucking video game. And I'll fight to the death. <laughs> right. Yeah, that was, uh, fucking, uh, they had the three is the magic number. Oh, fucking Dave Mira too. That was fucking. That soundtrack was fire for that game. They had the fucking Slim Jim guy in that bitch and everything. <laughs> fucking Slim Jim guy. <laughs> but let's play the uh, play the Cemetery Girl rework. I'm sure you've already heard it, Flapjack, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you think about it? It's fucking fire, dude. What do you think? Right. He said, "What do you think?" What you yeah, he is, this guy. Yeah, yeah, this fucking guy talking about what do you think? It's fucking gas. What do you think? Right. He said I inspired it. It's got that funky ass lo-fi beat, man. I love that shit. <laughs> Cemetery, baby, I want you to burn down. 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 Cemetery, baby, I want you to burn
Tico, she got the switchblade. Used to act like I was bitch made. Had tattoos in her lip ring. She don't text me back, she busy. She wants sex and drugs. Who's next to fuck? Yeah, I know this bitch get busy. Like a nod out and get dizzy. All her friends are trying to fuck. And they say she got a fine ass. Got a problem shooting up. But you know that they don't mind that. I can try to say what's up. But I know she won't reply back. Now she's out here with the plug. Sucking dickies for a dime bag. She holding in the public park. They found that in her father's car. Could have brought his daughter back. But doctor wasn't trying hard. We could go to space today. Or we could just go get away one day. I hope I get a day. But I know that she's in the grave. Girl in high school, not a regular girl, but she cool. Got a hatchet man tattoo, and her arms always stay bruised. She likes nasty talking, back shots, getting choked out till she drew. I know mama wouldn't approve, but I'm always breaking the rules. She likes having sex on your public, smoking cigarettes, cussing, and doing dope with her cousins. And I hope I don't catch nothing, so I hold my breath and I hold my sex. But I know this bitch has been fucking. She get no slut when we pulled up, she get Kyle Combs up bucket. She went into the bathroom. Got cocaine on her face But what she didn't know is there was Fanny on the play She took one lightning quickly finds that it's a big mistake Her eyes roll back inside her and her body starts to shake <laughs> This is yeah. a fucking, a fucking this is fire. banger. And you know, it's like the chat said, it's like Dustin said, it's done respectfully and sets a twist on it. it, it it's You're 100% right here, man. Yeah. I, I totally agree. So, speaking of Kyle and Clockwork, um, oh, oh, damn. MP with the $10 donation, that's actually the first ever donation yep. that we've had on the show. To be because honest. we, I mean, we only had the monetization up for what, maybe a month now. Yeah, maybe. I know that. That's dope, dude. That's dope. And shout out MP. Yeah, yeah. shit right there. And he's yeah, still around here. Uh, went yeah, down and dug a low show history right there. First will forever be engraved at the first fucking dono. Whoop whoop. That's fresh, son. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I kind of forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, dude. We were talking about oh, uh, Kyle. Yeah, uh, he produced. Did he produce Pander? Am I right in saying that? No, no, no. Pander okay. is uh, some I dude just... from uh, Nashville. Okay, I his name. Honestly, my bad, dude from Nashville. <laughs> yeah. It's still a fresh ass beat and fucking all that though. For sure. Hey, shout out Fro Dizzle, man. Yeah. That's what I say that. Shout out Fro. Fucking real one. That's what it stands for. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I 100% agree. <clears throat> but, yeah, man, I, for some reason in my head, I thought Kyle had something to do with it, but maybe just because he was in the video or shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was, uh, yeah, that was, I that was leased that it was, off some dude. I found it yeah, on YouTube. I hit him up. I was like, this shit's fire. He was like, well, okay. Yeah, no, it is, though. Yeah, I got play. like a got a two for deal. You actually have uh, two beats from that guy. I'm gonna drop on the next one. Uh, at least you ain't on the project. I mean, at least you're buying and not leasing, man. Yeah, that's, that's all you want. I will 100% say that as well because at least you're buying beats and you're not jacking for beats because yeah. we've also been hit with the monetizations because of us playing fucking beats that we didn't know. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. This was a. Are you talking about like alienated? Like, are you like part of Humble's chat? Like, are you talking about like that? At MP? I've been reading on with that. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Apparently, <laughs> chat's calling me out for shit. It's Donnie going to the moon. Yeah, apparently. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, he's a. Oh, he's a oh, where is he? oh yeah, bro. That's what's up. <laughs> So he's going crazy every year trying to read this. Yeah, I'll be the person over there in his chat. Yeah. Let's see. 
I gotta fuck. fix my hat. Look like I had a pussy hat on. What's going on? Oh, damn. Hey, shout out for having the 17 face in the right way. <laughs> Bro, I fucking laughed at Bill when he did that shit. And, uh, no, no one fixed it. I'm like, I was like, okay. Then my wife was like, why didn't anyone fix it? I'm like, hmm? Hey, look, that's a good OCD test. Anybody who mentions anything about it, you know they probably got OCD. <laughs> well, yeah. we are creeping up on the hour here, so they're when talking we, about the roach clip. What's wrong? We mentioned the hemos earlier. That's all they keep. Yeah, it, I wish I had a pair of roach clips anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I buy cones anymore. Really, that's. A, I know, right. Cones are just too convenient, though, bro. I'd like, be blowing them through ounces like fucking crazy when they're And actually, old. yeah, today the they're doing their 420 special, like I said. So I got some fucking, I got some shatter, and then they gave me it's free free roll Friday. And so you can spend more than whatever, you get fucking three pre rolls. So they gave me free fucking joints. But look, I called it, bro. What did I say backstage? I said we gotta open with the video because they're gonna want us to play it again. Halfway through, valid mm-hmm. call, and run it that, was run that beautiful bean footage. I am. Yeah. Bitch, I pander, 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 pander. Because I do recognize a lot of people in that video, but that video is so dope. The music video is so fucking dope. Dude, I had a great time doing that video. It looks fun as fuck, man. It looks fun. Mm-hmm. I wish I was there. I wish I would showed up a little earlier, but I did. We had to work that day a lot, so fucking I barely got up there in time for uh, us to fucking do the stream from. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the crack dance. Dude, the pizza we had that night was fire. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's yeah. all I remember about the video. We had some dope ass pizza. <laughs> I did we I did walk in and I uh, had my laptop to set up for the stream and shit and I was looking around for a place to set it and I was like, man, I'm not, like I had to just move the stack of pizza boxes off to the trash can and it was kind of setting up. <laughs> It was fucking hilarious. Me and Bill went there to pick up the pizzas and we left. They're, they're like, they go to bring us our food. We got like a fucking, like a Scooby Doo stack of fucking pizzas walking out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it was only like 50 bucks though, man. That's cheap as shit. That is cheap for that. Fuck. Bro, like, yeah, no, right? Anymore, it's like fucking $15 for a medium. One medium Thanks. pizza. Thanks, buddy. Dude, it's crazy. Prices. <laughs> Thanks, Joe Byron. Right. Byron. Joe Byron. Hey, yo. 
<laughs> hey, yo. So let's pull up the uh, illegal aliens flyer. Hold Hell on, yeah. before we get to that, okay. we have Relic in the chat asking, could you explain the pee pee poo poo? <laughs> the pee pee poo poo. Uh, yeah. So, um, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna commit to face tattoos, you gotta commit. <laughs> I, I am a I am a man child, and I think pee pee poo poo is hilarious. Hey, right? And that's literally it. <laughs> Listen, I like mean, I was doing a a a trap song, right? So I was like, I gotta do some face tats. So why not do pee pee and poo poo? Because I am the pee pee poo poo man. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. I think it's, it's funny. It's I would agree thing. with you with that. I heard a thing like the other pretty, day. Nah, I, I feel like it's definitely not real, bro. I heard a thing that said that you know us men that we 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 might get older, but we never grow the fuck up. Okay, that's so true, dude. Pee pee and poop jokes and dick jokes and wiener and fart jokes. Well, for, oh, you stay young. Funny. Always, yeah, dude. I don't care Always. who you are. Always funny. Fucking wiener. <laughs> exactly. Like wiener. wiener and and pee pee. Come on, fucking now. <laughs> fart jokes. There's nothing like a fucking good old fart joke. I don't care who, how old you are. Mm -hmm. Overgrown man child. Charlie says. Yes. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> calm, calm down with the accusations. <laughs> Pro says, yeah. Oh. So the flyer. Okay, I, I, yeah, I cut you off from the flyer. Yep. Yeah. We got the pull up the flyer because this flyer is actually pretty dope too. Illegal aliens. Shout out to whoever did this flyer because that's actually really fucking sick. Yeah, the artwork's pretty hard. And we got a lot. You got a lot of spaces, so you uh, who, who if you're interested in uh, booking, you need to uh, contact clockworkbooking.gmail.com. Yeah, you're uh, not an artist and you want to go to this show because you know it's going to be a good ass time with Flapjack Wilson, Clockwork Key, and Apollo. Then you need to go to Skeletics. Fuck, I paid thirty dollars for that ticket right there alone. Right? No shit. I'm paying thirty dollars and I'm performing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, so on the real talk though, every time there's a show, we always, I always buy three fucking tickets. Even though we don't need to fucking buy them, mm -hmm. like like Clockside Fest, Fest, for instance. I mean, we still buy them just to support. You know what I mean? Like uh, fucking buy them from Apollo Exodus for uh, Juggalo Day. Did you we know? end up giving them away too while we were there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, somebody ends up using them too. Yeah, usually somebody ends up using them. Oh yeah. Like, oh, I'll send this picture to you. I'll screenshot it and send it to you. Use the ticket. But you gotta support, man. Even if you're supporting yourself. Saturday, May 18th at Victory Sports Bar and South High Street, Columbus, Ohio. That There's... place is nice. Have we been here yet? Yeah. I don't think I've been here yet. Isn't that where uh, Juggalo Day Juggalo was? Day was. Yeah. Oh, what? oh, yeah. No, Onstead did not make it to Juggalo Day because uh, he, had really, yeah, he had his uh, father duties. Ah, uh, okay. He was being a juggalo dad. Uh, daddy, daddy time. So I didn't make that one. Okay. Well, nah, nah. like he said, booking tickets or booking is still available for the show. So if you guys are local artists or you're trying to make that trip down to Columbus, because you know it'd be worth it to go to see your fucking family, like always, and to support your homies, hit up clockworkbooking at gmail.com and go get your tickets right now. Right? Well, it's available at skeletics.com. Go get Desmond's. Go get the fucking 420 show tomorrow. Go get the fucking lunacy tickets. Go get the red and white blue fucking tickets. Yeah. Go spend your money on junk shit this summer. Fuck <laughs> a, a dad or a, a, a fucking uh, a summer body. Go and do junk shit with your family. Uh, yeah. And then, and then go gather to finish it all off. Yeah. 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 Nothing but junk shit this summer. Jug well, I mean, Boy Summer. <laughs> dude, it, it, if you look at it, there's so many events coming up leading up to right before the fucking gathering. There's this one, we got Red, White, and Boof. We got fucking uh, Lunacy. All of this shit. Uh, well, Red, White, and Boof is in July, but this is in May. Fucking Lunacy's in May. There's a lot of shit happening in May. 
Right. It's an exciting it's, time to be a juggalo. Be good. Yeah, it's going to be a fucking good ass summer. It's always, it's always a good summer in the in the jungleverse. So, how many times have you actually performed with Clockwork E? <laughs> We've only performed together uh, one and a half times. Four yeah. times. Four times. Oh yeah. I don't know. Four or five times. The first time we performed together, um, legit, I performed for them and they performed for me. The promoter didn't promote the show <laughs> at all. We, I promoted the show. Um, I think they promoted the show, and that was it. Even the other artists didn't promote it. They just showed up. And then, like, it, it fucking, that shit sucked. But, yeah, man. <clears throat> Shout out to Clockwork E for doing that. <laughs> Hang, hanging out with me and I hung out with them. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was always a good time, man. Yeah. I know Fox Oxide Fest, everybody was having a blast backstage and everything like that. Yeah. When you came out on good. stage and fucking killed that shit. Good that turnout. That was a. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, yeah, really. Promoters literally don't do the one job. It's true. They don't. Ten dollar fucking donation, homie. You the goat. You, you ain't gotta worry about that when it's being uh, promoted by Shang side and shit. Oh yeah. You ain't gotta worry. Boofing lasers. Space boofing lasers. That was a good show. Fro came out to that one. Yeah, rallies after. <laughs> Shout out rallies, man. Right. They had rallies on the grip. Them fries, they got the best fries in the fast food game. I'm a I'll oh, stand dude, on that. Definitely, fucking. I will rallies. go there and eat a large one just, 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 just the fries. I don't give a fuck about anything else. Uh, their mozzarella sticks have the French fry seasoning on them. Oh my god. So do the chicken tenders too? They have some kind of chicken tenders that have the fry seasoning on them, bitches too, man. Hey, shout out Riley. Sponsor us, dog. Yeah. I will rock checkers gear all day long. Yeah, or at least build one in my fucking town. Do you I'll, have still, one? I'll still pay for this shit. Just build one close to me, so I ain't got. I ain't got fucking. There's one here, but or, well, it's it's like thirty minutes away, and like when I try to DoorDash shit, it'll take fucking an hour to get here, and at that point, I'm just like, well. I do believe there is one around Bowling Green on my uh Bro, there's like one on in my uh, trip up north and shit a couple of times you just got stop by there and shit. Do you need to hit Mr. Hero and get a Roman burger? Hey, hey. I haven't had Mr. Hero in a grip neither, man. Damn. We got Peter Pit up here is our is our kind of kind of place. Oh, yeah, right. It ain't got nothing like that, but we got like fucking four McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, <hell yeah. laughs> Shout out to McChickens, bro. <laughs> yeah, there's literally it's like you got a fucking four fucking sides of town and a McDonald's on every fucking side, bro. Like, I said Marion's got one. Every wherever there's a fucking highway and an exit ramp in around my fucking city, bro, or town, bro. It's like a fucking there's a McDonald's there. <laughs> Whack on the deals. They can sponsor right. us too. I'll take and then you know, wherever there's a McDonald's and Burger King right across the street, we got four of those bitches too. If I had to choose, bro, Burger Burger King, I can't eat, bro. No, no, nah. can't do Burger King. I love Burger King, man. Yeah, I mean, King okay, well, I can do some. I can't do their burgers. I can't do Whoppers. Put it that way. I cannot eat a Whopper. I get okay. sick. Fucking time, bro. I don't know if it's the veggies, the mayonnaise that they use, whatever the fuck it is, but I cannot eat a Whopper. Well, I guess it's not the mayonnaise because I can eat the original chicken sandwich. You know? I can't fuck with that. Hey, Charlie said Culver's. Culver's is goaded. I don't go a yeah. fuck, dog. I love Culver's. Uh, we were my fat kids up in here just talking about food. <laughs> Fast food. Oh, shit. Yeah. Food. We are, you know, at that hour, hour mark, hour, hour fifteen minutes mark. Usually, right around here is where we let you know. Go ahead, plug everything that you're working on, where everybody can fucking find you, uh, all your social medias, all that whoopty wop. So, the whoopty wop. 
The floor. So here we go. Look up Flapjack Wilson. Um, everywhere you are, brother. No, not really. Uh, but yeah, just just uh, look me up on Google. I got a Spotify, uh, YouTube. Honestly, just go to flapamania.com. I forgot. I have a website now. Flapamania.com. It'll take you to my fucking it links to everything. My Spotify, my YouTube, all that shit. Shout out to Amanda of All Trades. You go subscribe to Amanda of All Trades. That's my wife's YouTube channel. Um, uh, what do I got coming up? I got the Mexican Nightmare EP, Latino Heartthrob EP. But most importantly, come out tomorrow to the Rehab Tavern in Columbus. If you aren't going to go see the Silver Boys, if you ain't going to Toledo to catch the homie Six Digits final performance, Come to Columbus. It's a free show. We're smoking weed. I might be bringing tacos. Probably not. <laughs> no. I'm. I got hella stuff to make tacos, but I'm lazy. I'm just gonna be honest with you. But that's it, man. Come out to the show. We got shows coming up. I got projects out. Go to my shit. I'm bringing my merch back. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Make sure you go run up fucking Panda right now. Run up Panda. Speaking of which, is it on Spotify yet? Because I, I hit Spotify uh, for earlier on the way here, and I did not. I don't, I don't know if it's on Spotify yet. It's, music, it's submitted to Spotify. Okay. It's submitted. So it's I submitted it yesterday. Um, my I wife was like, Spotify. did you ever submit the song to put it up on Spotify? And I'm like, no, I haven't. <laughs> so yeah, I admit, yeah. It, it should be up in like a few days, that's maybe. Exactly right. Yeah, that's how you know how it goes. But it's on its way, which Hell is different. Because yeah. yeah, I do. Uh, just in the car, it's the only time I actually fucking listen to Spotify, just because you know Apple CarPlay and all that bullshit and easier. Yeah. And so yeah, I fucking usually just hit the shuffle buttons. So it'd be dope to have that in my uh, playlist. And that song is fucking hard. Hell yeah. Everybody, go make sure you see Flap tomorrow for the 420 Cookout Show. That shit's going to be big gas. Uh, he says he's playing Pander. Uh, go pull up. Run up all the fucking digits. You guys know what to do. Uh, I want some of them. I can't, I can't say it in Spanish. It's hard for me to say it in Spanish. But the flip-flops I've seen that you had. The chunklas? That's it. Yeah, I want. That's the. That's what's on the chunklas right there. Yeah, I need some of them boys. Them that's boys the logo on. that's on the chunklas. So I'm we will, we will be bringing them. those back as well. Go see Mister Pee Pee Poo Poo Man tomorrow night, y'all. This shit's gonna be hard. Poo-poo-poo and the illegal aliens yeah. fucking uh, show coming up. Say what's up to Jay Jay Horns. Hell yeah. The big homie. Yeah. But yeah, man, thank you for fucking joining oh, us. Yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. It's been oh, a blast yeah. talking wrestling and fucking fast food with you guys. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> It'll be even better yeah. because next time you come on, when you come on again, I will be even more versed in wrestling. We can talk about it more because I'm, yeah. I'm going to get back in. Or uh, next show that we're all at together, we can do a uh, Blunt's Blunt and Fagos. Blunt's Fagos and wrestling, brother. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just smoke a bunch together in my car and talk about wrestling. Hell yeah, dude. Hell That's yeah. Awesome. All right, let's only whoop whoop. Right. Whoop whoop, y'all. Peace. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah. Another so, chapter down. The homie Flapjack. You guys will fucking see him tomorrow. A fresh go support, ass. Go support the homie because, like I said, the first time I'd seen him live was at Clockside Fest. And like he said, he yeah. fucking... That, the show he put on was hard as fuck. He was a staple of that show for sure. Of that whole fucking yep, that whole and, night. And it'll be good uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be just as fucking good. I already, I can feel it because it's four twenty. Everybody's gonna be having a fucking good time. Everybody's gonna be put on on their best. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah. I mean, obviously, it's always a good time when fucking Jay Horns is involved too. Oh, for one hundred percent. One thousand percent. That dude's organized as fuck. 
and he's got that bomb ass shop. So if you guys are in the yeah. area, stop at fucking at the at the recording studio slash head shop because that bitch is is pretty gas. They got some pretty good shit in there. Hell yeah. Excuse me. So what we got on the news docket, and I forgot to fucking change the stinger. Yeah. I got a, the audio out because we can't be getting our shit fucking copyrighted again. Not for general. Not, not especially not now that we're getting fucking super chats and shit. Yeah, and especially for a fucking stupid ass stinger. Like, for real, that's what we're going to get hit with is a fucking stinger. And like I said, man, that shit is free use. So somebody else has taken that audio, put it right. on Ty's channel, monetized the video they used it on, so now we can't fucking use it. Assholes, we're gonna have to find another free one. Yeah, uh, just, now, what I need to do is get somebody to send me an audio of them just doing some whatever, man, stupid shit with their mouth. Jug news. I can't do it. Uh, your boy ain't a fucking voice actor for a reason. Did you see this? Did you see this? Did you peep this? With yeah. fresh little eyes? No tire tracks, and so far there is no clue as to how it got there. What on earth is this thing? Emerald tablet. Holy shit. Is this weed talk, Joseph? No, this is so legit. So legit, man. So, so this dude was probably an alien. Northeast Ohio UFO videographers sharing their images online. We all read the message. It looks a cigar shape with a dome on it. Cigar shape with a dome. Oh, shit. I remember. Seriously. I got something playing in my head. Hang on. Oh, that was yeah. uh, breaking news. Shit's going down. Prophecies are coming true. The emerald tablets are being unlocked. The emerald tablets are fucking on their way. I mean, the emerald tablets are already here, but they're going to be deciphered. Shit. We're finally going to know what the fuck they say. That's super dope. I'm excited for that one. Uh, keep it on clockwork news. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Clockwork also, you can go see them with Chris Calico. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Park, Park Street Cantina at 491 Park Street in Columbus, Ohio, April 21st. Yeah. Oh, that's two days. Exactly. Uh, this, you can pair this with tomorrow's show, or if oh. you want to see both the Silver Boys and Flapjack Wilson, you go see Flapjack tomorrow, and then... On the 21st, you can go see fucking Clockwork with Chris Calico. You can have the yes. fucking best of both worlds. You can have your silver cake and eat it, too. You know? Yeah, you can. Uh, Charlie. Valerie. Yeah, Charlie's right, too, man. Uh, don't do not do this. Look, I'm trying to get one of these motherfuckers. I don't want everybody else knowing about it. <laughs> and, of course, we're talking about no, then the charms. The charms. I'm trying to find Fuck rookie charms. Look, bro, I hit up Charlie himself. Or, well, he hit me up and he showed me the picture. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dude, I'll prepay. <laughs> I'll prepay. Hold me one. Here we go. I got it right here. Let me send it to our chat. Uh, We're very unorganized. We're very unorganized. Only when it comes to news. That's valid. That's our that's what our only job is to do, you know, do news and you know, obviously we just talk to people instead. Boom, look at these <laughs> motherfuckers. These bitches are hard. Super oh. tough. Dude, they are so fucking hard. If I had the money, I'd definitely be, I'd definitely be copying, copying these motherfuckers for sure. Because this is tough. This is one of the ones that would go on the wall that that I wouldn't wear. It would. Be yeah, exactly. Depending how it turns out tomorrow, you, I might be walking away with you one too. Yeah, because I'll buy. I, I'll give you the money for it. All right. 
because that motherfucker's fresh. Uh, it's been a long time coming for for Clockworky Charms. Right. And then bitches are hard. There's not yeah. there's not too many times where I'll put myself in front of uh, other people when it comes to merch of a show that we're you know. I'll, uh, you know, I'll usually wait until the end of the show and then I'll go up to merch booth yeah. and I'm like, all right, what's left? But there's been, uh, there's been one other drop besides that chain where I was like, all right, bro, I got to have me one. And that was the Block O t shirt, the Clockwork E Block O t shirt. That motherfucker was tight too. As soon as I got into the show, I'm like, all right, where is it at? I need one. Bill and Kyle, if you have one put away somewhere and you find one dusted off, Fucking hit me up, bro. We will work something out. Cause I or do a second one. run of those bitches, for yes. sure. Because, like, as an Ohio do State different fan... Color, do, a red, do a black and red one. Do a yes. different color variation of that block O. As an Ohio State fan, I would rock that bitch up here in Ann Arbor where I'm at, dog. Like, I would wear that bitch everywhere. I swear to God. Uh, um, other news? Um, Lazy and Crazy 420 drop? Yes. This Super hard. Shit. Dude, I almost pulled the trigger. I'm not even gonna lie. I bet I I I wouldn't even be mad at you because the shorts, yeah, this whole fucking thing, bro. So is- what I was okay, here's the thing I was planning out. So the the shorts, obviously, the creeper shorts and the thing, and then with the creeper, yeah, and the mask. Yeah, that's tough. Right. That's tough. Yep, that's that shit's hard. Uh, this is still live until Saturday, I think. Saturday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. After four, as soon as four twenty is fucking over with, it's yep. uh, that one. So go copy lazy and crazy right now because them shits are tough. Uh, also, keeping it on four twenty, Ouija just another dropped. drop. Yep, Ouija's that. four twenty drop. I have right here. This design is super hard, bro. That's tough. Yeah, the oh yeah, yeah, the fucking uh, god damn it, like uh, she, she, yeah. yeah. I want to see the C seventeen on the back. I wonder if it's like last year's four twenty one, right? Where it's the bud, the yeah, where it's the, fucking the bud, yeah, the nugolo. Yeah, because that motherfucker was hard, man. Uh, this so that zippo is hard as fuck too. Both of them, dog. Yeah. Just the way that texture looks on that green one, though, it's just like crazy. Like, you zoom back in on that bitch. Yeah, I see what that's you mean. That shit looks textured like it would be like a nice, grippy, fucking nice, grippy box. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, we love grippy boxes here on the Fuck Little Show. Yeah. Uh, so go cop you one of these motherfuckers right now because these bitches are tough, man. Um, that's live right now until I don't know exactly when. Uh, other news, other news. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, fucking, oh yeah, this this crazy, whose mom was this? Okay, so as you remember last week, we uh, were just chilling around, right? We were pre-gaming for the 420 Blah show tomorrow. And uh, we had a un, un, not un, not uninvited. He was very much invited onto the show, but unplanned guest. Bulk Hogan. Yeah, none of them Bulk Hogan, man. Like I don't know if y'all are familiar with Bulk Hogan, but that dude is uh, serious, man. I don't, I don't know if I want to fuck with him. He's a serious clockworky hater, and. But yeah. it's just weird because his mom fucking loves Clockwork E. She even made the latest promo for him. I don't know if you guys seen it, but like we have it here. We're going to run it again because... It, well, honestly, bro, I don't know if he was aware until we actually played that video. That's valid, too, because uh, he said Rhonda be wilding, so... Right. Let's go ahead and see She was she gone weekends at a time, bro. I mean... I mean, do you, I mean how you call your mom? Hey y'all, my name's Rhonda, I'm 44 years young, and I've been a Clockwork Geek fan for six months. And if you like Clockwork Geek just as much as I do, you're gonna wanna know about these shows. So on 420, these boys is doing the shows with Bundy, Rudy, and DJ Carlito. That's right, Rude Boy and DJ Carlito are coming out to fucking Fairborn, Ohio with Bundy on 420. Bundy and Clockwork Geek are gonna throw it down. 
And then the day after that, them boys is going right back to Columbus to throw down with Chris Calico. That's fucking right, Chris Calico. You better get your tickets now. Go down there and check them comments and get your tickets now. Whoop, whoop. Good old Rhonda. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I don't think Bulky was uh, aware of that no. whole situation. But shout just, out Bulky for blessing us last week. Do you think we just like surprised it on him when we were like, yeah. hey, your mom stopped by, bro? I wasn't aware, bro. I mean, Kyle never said anything about it. But you know what she was talking about, though. He didn't tell me not to play it. But you know what she was talking about. Was the other 420 show that's going on tomorrow with the uh, Silver Blue Boys and, like they said, Bundy and the fucking legends themselves. That's why we played the video. I mean, honestly, it was just because, you know, we're going to be at this show tomorrow. Me and uh, Sony are. Tickets are still available right now. Yeah, no shit. Ten fucking bucks, you guys. You got you got Clockwork D, you got Bundy, you got fucking hosted by DJ Carlito and Rude Boy. And then there was a special guest announced. Will Gates, the, the big director. Homie. The director himself, Will Gates, will be there. Not, not to leave out V Sinister or anything like that, obviously. But everybody else on that flyer has been on our show. Thuggalo, or a Thuggalo alumni, if you will. Very true. So, be sinister. Yeah, yeah, no. Hit up, uh, hit up the fucking Instagram or some shit. We got you, dog. But yeah, if you're not going to check out Flat tomorrow, make sure you guys are at this show because this one's gonna be pretty tough as well. Um, I fuck, bro. That one, illegal aliens. Rhonda's gone. Um, I think this here is the last one I got. Yeah. This last one here is the uh, Juggalo Prom. If you guys have seen this floating around. Man. Uh, Hatchet Man Project, Trey Pound, Clockwork E, Motherfucking Glooner, Danny Dollars, and Zigtro all pulling up <laughs> at motherfucking Harpo's. Uh, look, that. Look, look, I want to add once again that everybody on that flyer is still going to show alumni. Dog. Everybody on that flyer is alumni, if you will. Man, hell yeah, that's fresh as fuck. Uh, June 15th, there will be a king and queen juggalo prom contest. So pull up in your best fucking jug attire. Pull up feeling stunting. Feel fucking fly because you know what? We're not all scrubs anymore. You know, we're fucking. We are uh, prom kings and queens, and we're going to find out who's the ultimate king and queen on June 15th at the fucking Harp at Harpo, at legendary hey. Harpo's. So get your tickets now. I think that one's only 20 bucks. Doors open at 6 p.m. Fuck. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. Yeah, honestly, like just seeing Cluner again. Yes, yes. Would yes. be as dope as fuck. Yes. Uh, and Danny Dollars, man. Like, I, you know me, I only seen him that one time at the gathering. Yeah. That's and, it. I, yeah. And it'll be good to see him live, too. And this whole, this night right here is pretty fucking fresh. I uh, think the fact that Clockwork is, like, doing shows at Harpo's, which is a legendary venue as far as yeah, shit. Yeah, that, that, too. By themselves, yes. The Relic uh, says, y'all still fuck with Hex. He's touring. Of yeah, course we still course. fuck with Hex, bro. He was just in Denver. He's still hanging up right there. He, he just did the tour. Our Sony in view, but mm-hmm. he's still hanging up right there. Yeah, he just he just started the tour right here. Boom. Right in Denver at the Roxy. He also just dropped Big Devil. If you guys haven't heard that yet. West Coast wait shit. That shit is straight up West Coast hip hop. And it's fucking it's hex. So if you like fucking demon season and shit like that, it's West Coast hip hop. And I love old school West Coast hip hop. So that shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean on the real though, hex is still like every third, fourth song in my fucking Spotify 100%. random playlist. Hundred percent. Let me show you guys something. Let me show you something. Yeah, look. We're talking still, to the. That's moon. still one of my favorite fucking singles of all goddamn time. Talking Thank to the moon again. We always like, talking to the moon again around here. I got the single over there with his autograph on it, of course. Listen, 
uh, Relic, we've been supporting Hex since before he got signed. That's our brother, too, man. Like, we've been supporting him for a grip. And he's been supporting us for a fucking yeah. grip, too. Yeah, I was just thinking about this the other day, too, with how, like, the first time I met Hex, dude, I was still, like, you know, fucking kind of starstruck and fucking tongue-tied and shit. And now, obviously, you know, fucking a year and a half later. That was the first big thing we did together. Well, Ouija together, when we announced the show to him, was the first big thing. And then after that was when we pulled up at Hex at the fucking... Um, where was that? Fuck. Was that in Detroit or was that in, um... Uh, yeah, it was, uh, no, it was Wisconsin. No, it wasn't Wisconsin. It wasn't Wisconsin. No, it was! That was the first time when we were out back smoking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With him and Monster. Yep. That was the first time, like, we all, we kicked it. We sat out back to smoke a fucking... Did he? I'd say the first or second time, man. I don't know if the has pulling us backstage was the first or not. I think that was the first because, because he had to take off and go on a tour. Like we did. Yeah. Or yeah. in real life. We dapped him up for like, we talked for like 10 minutes and then he had to leave because they had to go on tour the next day. Yep. Yeah, that shit was dope. He's the homie. He's a big time homie. Yeah, I wish this fucking tour he was coming out this way, but it's like all really a West Coast. There's not really anywhere near us because if it was near us, you know, we would have been at it. Oh, yeah. Shit. Sure. Um, yep. Yeah, Hex Tour, Hex New Song just dropped, Big Devil. And then, like I said, we got Juggle Prom Night. So if there's a let in the scene that you've been wanting to ask out, go to prom. Do it like a real high schooler and uh, do like a fucking video and send it to her. And if it's good, we will put it on screen, and we'll like. And if he and, and if uh, you don't want to go with him, you go with me instead. Elixir needs a prom date. Right. Elixir, who's you gonna? Who are you gonna ask? Who are you gonna ask? Who are you gonna ask to prom, Elixir? Who are you gonna ask to prom? That, that Juggalo is prom. Good man. Huh. That it will be to or as to be determined. Yeah, I know who it is. I'm yeah, I'm just, you wish it was you. But that's all the news I got tonight. Uh anything else? <laughs> is that Jennifer Lopez? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's all the news we got. I. Listen, I am going to say this because uh, next week is a killer guest. But these next couple guests that we got coming oh up, my it's, God. it's taking everything in my soul not to tell you guys who the fuck we got coming up in these next like month. It's taking everything in my soul to hold this shit back, you guys. We got two more things, actually. Uh-oh. First of all, Red, White, and Boof. Just reiterate. There is a giveaway going on. Yes. If you go to three entertainment, or how how is it three int? It's triple nine. You got triple nine. Triple nine. Triple sorry, nine I'm like. How many fucking joints did you smoke, Richard? Dude, I, we're I'm on number five at least, just since we started the fucking stream. Now it's like three since we started the stream, but still. I smoked one and a half, and I'm fucking I'm fried. Yeah, bro, I'm going to be really with you. This is the Boof Scotty. We're smoking. Oh, hell yeah. Scotty, which is 140. A oh. half. Or no, 140 an ounce, sorry. Bam. Go to this fucking, this post. That exact post right yes. there. Go to this Triple post. Triple Nine Entertainment. Like that page. Comment something on that post. Comment fucking your name is a thuggalo. Boom. Share the page with 17 real people. That uh, should be easy enough. You got fucking three of them on the screen right now. Yeah, tag us in there. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. After, mm-hmm. after doing all three of those fucking things, you will be entered in the drawing, which will be done live here. On June 14th. 
welcome to the shenanigans. This show is going to be but super all. fucking dope. Yeah, let's, let's run through the flyer real quick. Look, man, Red, White, and Boo Festival, hosted by us right here at the Thuggalo Show, July 4th, 5th, and 6th. Yes, three fucking days in Marion, Ohio. You might not want to stay in Marion, Ohio for all three of those fucking days. You might want to get out, trust me. But come back the next day. So, yeah, we got two days of Clockwork E. Got the big fucking homies, Free Will. Mm -hmm. We got Doc Gruesome. We got the Hooligans, Mad Max, Super Famous Fun Time Guys, Flapjack Wilson, Apollo Exiges, Missa J. And that's all going down, Marion, at the Lauren Green Camp Road. Where we ain't got, look, look, one good thing about having in Marion, we ain't got to worry about getting fucked with. They got bigger, the cops and shit, they got bigger things to worry about there. Mm -hmm. We ain't got to worry about some fucking juggalos in a field somewhere or some shit like that. They are still booking for this event, so you guys, if you, if you are an artist, again, and you want to get on stage with one of these, hit, 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 us, email, up. hit us the hit email, us up. hit us up. Uh, yeah, there's a, this is one of the other ones that's going to be very popping in this year, in, in the summertime, right before the fucking gathering. Mm -hmm. And then that brings me to the second thing the gathering ticket giveaway. So, we have talked about it several times. We are giving away a gathering general mission ticket for free this just, year. Just like we do every fucking just year. Just like we do every year. No, so, we, like, we did decide in a week or two. It was it one or two weeks? About a week. In a week. In the middle of the week. Not during the promo. Not during Monday when we normally drop the promo for the guest guests that week. Because like On said, said, the next two fucking guests this week are going to be good ones. Not like any of our other guests aren't good ones. No, not, yeah, good exactly. Ones. Not, but. These are ones we're particularly hype about. They're cool. They're cool ass names, bro. Regardless. Yeah. 100%. Cool ass people. Yeah. I ah, think so. Cool ass look, people. Look, they already know where we're going with this. The Wheel of Thuggery will be making its return. And yes. It will be just like every other post that we've done where you'll have to, you know, but it'll probably be just like Alexa said a minute ago. Your name it's is a Thuggalo. Boom. Yeah. And we'll keep that post open for a week, week and a half. And all those names will be entered into the fucking Wheel of Thuggery. That will right. make its coveted return to chop fucking chop heads and nettings wide the fuck open to win that coveted, coveted gathering. And it, it will be like the red, white, and boof giveaway where it will be a actual post. Just one standalone yep. post. Yep. No, nah, it won't be you know, like if you if you don't use Facebook. We're gonna do a Facebook and probably Instagram. Get your mom's Facebook. Log on to your mom's Facebook, comment right. your fucking name. You know mom's got Facebook. Yeah, right? exactly. But it will be on Facebook. It will be one post. There will be posts on our Instagrams and Twitter leading to that one post. But we just want one post. It's easier that way. So keep an eye out for this because that's coming soon. So both of these giveaways, man, are extra fucking fresh. So you guys keep on the fucking lookout for these. Uh, with that being said, we're almost at the two hour mark, man. We're at an hour 40. We talked all the news. We've had a dope interview with, with Flapjack. We talked about wrestling and fucking yeah, fast yeah. food. Uh, we talked about red, white, and booth. Make sure Just you guys a bunch get of weed. a bunch of weed for 420. Yeah, I'm about to finish this. Joint. I tried Orange Fago for the first time. Quote Orange Fago. Oh, man, bro. That's legit. Trump. Next, next week's guest is going to be ultra dope and then the week after that i got i will say this i will say it i'll give a little hint for next week right the person who will be on next week is also on the red white and boof flyer so that almost completes that full flyer as well of being Thuggalo alumni. We just need a couple we, more. We like Pokemon. One. We're like Pokemon masters up in this bitch, bro. We're going to collect them all. Facts. We got to collect every one of them. And all we, the homies. We like to consider ourselves like the, uh, 
We're the Juggalo Joe Rogan in a consensual here. way. We're the Juggalo Joe Rogan around here. We like to bring on everybody in the underground and let them speak, you know, what they got to say and plug talk them and give everybody music. a platform. Talk about music, wrestling, food, uh, illegal substances, gang bangs, and super AIDS, all kinds of things. It's like, it's like, it's like the Juggalo Joe Rogan. And I, that's what I like to keep it. With that being said, man, we're almost at the two hour mark. Look out for next week's promo. And in the middle of that, before mushroom. we get back, look get your out. mushroom vaccines. Get your fucking vaccine. No, I don't promote vaccines over here. That's a way to get us fucking. Oh, you're talking about Anamoya. Yeah, even if it's a mushroom. What about if it's a mushroom? Yeah, maybe. It depends on what it is. Because cordyceps you're a are pretty bad. Guy. You like mushrooms. What if cordyceps. I, yeah. Hey, cordyceps are the ones that started uh, The Last of Us. You got to be careful about them. Right. Well, I'll let you mix penicillin with it. Penicillin's good. It's good for your pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, tune in next time for more gentle hygiene tricks. Gentle <laughs> hygiene and uh, general wellness <laughs> advice your from your genital. I meant general hygiene. Genital <laughs> hygiene and your your weekly uh, <laughs> weekly talks from your friendly neighborhood thuggles. <laughs> Woop woop, motherfuckers. Woop woop, we will see you guys next week. Everybody, if you're Much in a legal state, and you're in a legal state, everybody be careful. If you're not in a legal state tomorrow, but have a good time. Enjoy these fucking shows that you got tomorrow. Woop woop. Woop woop. Hey, hey shout out. Thug low show with this bitch. Every fucking city. Thug low show hey, represent. Hey, hey. Free will in the bitch. Darby in the pits. Shout out Thug low show. Love you motherfuckers for real, bro. Hey, this is Ouija Mac, the ugliest juggalo that ever fucked your bitch. Tune into the